Adele, that art you just did. Yes, I know. I surprised myself, too. I just kind of stuck attack magic and support magic together and that came out. No, no, no. That was way more powerful than just kind of sticking them together. R really? That just shows how strong Estelle's grown. <laughs> well, you're definitely a lot stronger than when I first met you. Keep up the good work, Estelle. Of course. You two do the same. The all divide sure is useful. No, it's no good. No good at all. <laughs> Why is that? I mean, it makes battles easier. Rely on that gizmo too much, and pretty soon you won't be able to win a battle without it. Using items is a decent strategy, old man. Kids, in my day, we fought fine without any of these gizmos and what's a mahoozits. Hey! Hold on a sec! What is it? Something the matter? Help me organize these items, would ya? Since when did we have so many of those? We haven't been using them. They add up. If we can get by without using them, so much the better, right? Is that how it works? You don't want to get into the habit of wasting items when you don't need to, right? Um, I'm simply not very familiar with using items. Well, it doesn't matter what you pick. Just use some items. They're going to waste! H he's right, Yuri. Let's use our items. All right, if we need to. Or at least help me sort them out. Oh, what to do? What do you mean? I'll die if I can't take a shower once a day. And in a dry old desert like this? R really? Rita, you have to do something! Huh. Idiot. She'll be fine. <laughs> it's not like she's a flower. Going without a shower won't kill you. It's been ten days since I last showered, actually. It's been that long? I'd be on my deathbed if I were you. I've got it! Rita's not a flower, she's a prickly cactus! Die! <laughs> It's so hot! That's because Rita keeps using all that fire magic. It doesn't have anything to do with my magic. The desert's just hot! Ah! Whatever. It's just really hot. What? Are you saying I should stop? I guess we're saying it'd be real nice if you would. I won't stop. Huh? I won't stop! I like it! Aren't you hot too? Come on. I'm hot, but using the magic makes me feel so good that I forget all about being hot, all right? Oh, Rita's nuts! Doesn't all that fighting ever make you tired, Yuri? Nah, I've got you here to heal me if I get hurt, after all. But getting hurt and getting tired are different. Don't you ever run out of energy? Hmm, I'd say swinging my sword gives me more energy rather than taking it away. You're like an over-energetic kid who runs around until he passes out. Of Course, I've got more energy than a kid, so I can make that much more mischief. Ah, youth. I'm out of breath with just one swing. I wish I could go back to my younger days. Talk about pathetic. Don't worry. Won't be long before you're in the same boat as me, kid. <laughs> I don't think that's too funny, old man. Well, until then, you can just sit and suffer in admiration of my youthful energy. That's the first time I've ever heard of someone suffering in admiration. You know, at first I wasn't comfortable with fighting, but recently I've gotten quite used to it. Oh yeah? Well, you have been fighting a lot, huh? It looks like you're still wasting energy with some unnecessary movements, though. I always try hard to think of what I should do next, but somehow I just can't get things right. Maybe you're thinking too hard? If you fought more on a gut level, your body might respond more fluidly. On a gut level? I see. So I just need to follow my instincts. You think maybe she misunderstood what we were saying? Maybe. But I think she'll figure things out. <sighs> what? Tired already? What a poor excuse for a warrior. T tired No way! Not me! It wouldn't be strange if you were, Carol. You've come the farthest out of all of us. The, f the farthest out of all of us? <laughs> Maybe. You're young. Young people have to work hard. It's nothing to be getting all worked up over. <sighs> Carol may be energetic, but he's still a child. He doesn't have as much strength as the rest of us. Uh, I'm fine. I can work just as hard as you two do. Exactly. You can't be using your age to get out of doing your part for the team. I, I know that. Carol, you're really good when you put your mind to it. <laughs> hey, Carol. You weren't just fishing for a compliment from Judith, were you?
Rita, last night you were saying the strangest things in your sleep. What was it? <laughs> Come on, tell me. Hey, don't go telling weird stories about me. You were chanting magic spells. So what? That's not scandalous or anything. Shut up. What were you expecting anyway? Rita, I think all this fighting we've been doing is getting to you. Rita, you were so cute saying spells in your sleep. What are you talking about? But I have to say, I was pretty surprised when the spell actually worked. Seriously? You see, Rita, you should really get a little more rest. How much of that was true and how much of it was a total lie? Oh, I've never been very good at lies. I can't believe I've gone this long without dying in battle. This can't be good. It seems good to me. Or do you still not care about dying since you already died once? Mm, I can't say that feeling's totally gone, but maybe it's lessened a tad. Yeah, then show it. Be happy. Fate waits until you're on top of the world to knock you down. I gotta stay on my toes. So you're just going to keep pretending like you're troubled and hope fate doesn't notice. Smart kid. I'm gonna keep testing my luck and see just how far it takes me. Well, don't come crying to me when fate comes for payback. Judith, you always go right for the enemies, don't you? Yes, you never hesitate at all. <laughs> You're a juggernaut. Huh? What does that mean, Yuri? It means she charges like a boar. A juggernaut means something that has so much inertia that it can't be stopped or redirected. Huh. Hey, Judith's gone! <laughs> Sorry, I'm back now. Where did you go, Judith? Oh, I thought I saw something. Seems like it wasn't a monster after all. That instinct of yours to attack anything that moves reminds me of a wolf. I don't know what we do in this journey without Repeat's help. How come Repeat's so strong, anyway? He trained hard in order to capture the spot of Big Boss. What do you mean, capture the spot of Big Boss? It was a battle to defeat the Little Wolves, the leaders of all the dogs and cats in the capital. The... they had a leader? They were the former big bosses. They oppressed the cats and dogs and even harmed humans. Um, I'm really interested in hearing more, but... Y yeah, if it's a long story, maybe you could tell us when we have more time? <coughs> oh, well, your loss. Long story short, Repeat fought for the dogs and cats, and now he's their boss. So he got stronger to protect the ones he cared about. And the reason he's fighting now is also to protect the people he cares about, right? Huh? Where's Yuri? Oh, he said he was gonna go for a jog. Really? He sure is energetic. Hey, Carol. What's up, Yuri? I just haven't fought many battles lately. I don't want to get out of shape. You want to come? Uh, I... sure, I guess. All right, I'll come along too. Okay, this time's for real. Four-mile run, followed by a hundred sit-ups, push-ups, and squats. Let's go. Oh, hold on here. Are you serious? Uh, Estelle, you're okay with this? Huh? Isn't this a normal exercise routine? Yeah, that's our princess for you. All right, let's go. W why do I have to go? I'm just a bother for everyone. I fought with Yuri when we started out, but recently... Yuri says that he doesn't want you to get hurt. You must be very important to him. I'm jealous. Huh? Y you mean... Estelle, what do you think of Yuri anyway? Oh, come on, it's obvious. But please stop! You have the wrong idea! What are you two adults trying to convince Estelle of this time? Oh, does our genius mage want in on this too? Yuri's just been keeping her out of battle because Flynn asked him to take care of her, right? Th that's right. That's what it is. There's nothing else to it. Nothing at all. Poor Estelle. Oh, it's absolutely heartbreaking. I'm telling you, you have it all wrong. Hey, let me fight every once in a while too, okay? Really, Carol? You want to fight that badly? Yeah, I want to fight for Brave Vesperia. There's more that you can do for the guild than just fighting, you know. That's a pretty surprising bit of wisdom coming from you, old man. But... What should I do, then? Hmm. You could cook food for us or gather information about places we're going. You're good at those kinds of things, right? Oh, yeah. And you're really good at finding cute girls for me to talk to, right? Hold on. Carol, have you really been doing that for the old man? Uh, yeah. I mean, Raven told me to bring cute girls to him, so... 
This kid's such a cutie. The ladies are all over him. Carol, you shouldn't be so trusting. Huh? Why's that? Trusting of what? <sighs> Never mind. Oh, okay. That's why. Yeah, don't you think? What? Doesn't it stress you out just watching everyone else fight all the time? You sure you're not confusing me with yourself? You don't wonder what it is about yourself that makes other people not want to rely on you? Maybe that's the way you feel. You really do have it together, Rita. I get to think about things while you all are in battle. It's nice. Hmm. <laughs> I guess hitting Carol and kicking the old man aren't as much of a stress relief as I thought. What? You think stuff like this relieves stress? Ow! So cut it out! Raven, you haven't fought with us much at all, have you? Oh, no. Quite the contrary. What do you mean? While you all have been busy fighting your own battles, I've been doing some fighting of my own. Are you saying we've just been too caught up with our own fighting to notice? Huh? But, but I looked over during a battle the other day. You were just hanging around like normal. Well, you never know when the demons of sleep or hunger will rear their ugly heads. I see. That must be tough, what with the lack of urgency or any real danger. <laughs> and yet you always suffer a crushing defeat. It's so true. So maybe you can swap me in sometime soon? I'll work hard. <sighs> hey, Yuri, something's weird about Judith. Judy's always weird. You're terrible. Can't you see how stressed I am? What's the matter? Did something happen? I'm just... I'm just not helpful at all, am I? That's not true. Why would you say that? No, you don't have to pretend. I'm too weak, I know it. You? Weak? Trust me, nobody thinks that at all. No, it's all right. Don't try to make me feel better. It's easier for me this way anyway. You're bored, aren't you? Not being able to fight? Oh. Is that what you're worried about? No, it's okay. I can handle the boredom. Besides, I have Baul to talk to. Ugh. <sighs>